Live from KTVN Reno, you're watching 2 News at 5.30. From the industry point of view, we're thrilled. People in Nevada's marijuana industry are weighing in on Governor Steve Sisolak's executive order to create an advisory panel hoping to strengthen regulations. And that is tonight's 2 News Big Story at 5.30. So apparently this panel will uh, help establish a Nevada Cannabis Compliance Board that Sisolak says will re reassemble the, uh, the game or that will resemble the Gaming Control Board. A lot of similarities between the two. I'm Landon Miller. And I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for keeping it here with us. The governor says it's critical to add transparency and fairness to this new industry. Paul Nelson shows us what the executive order does exactly and what people in the weed business think of it. Sunday driver. <laughs> It's really good, but dude, it's super fresh. Rise Carson City is part of one of Nevada's newest industries, selling marijuana for recreational use. You have a wonderful day. Good seeing you. Too. This type of business comes with its challenges and even more hurdles than a typical retailer. The growth that has come has been good for the industry. It has also been a challenge. I mean, we're building, we're building not only a new business, but a new industry. Morano says he would like to see lower taxes and fair regulations. It's going to put you at 54 out the door. Businesses like this have been selling recreational marijuana in Nevada for less than two years, so regulations are brand new. So it is with great pleasure that I sign this executive order. Governor Steve Sisolak is creating an advisory panel with this executive order. It'll come up with ideas to create a permanent compliance board. It's an industry that, like I say, I think is similar to gaming. It's an industry that's going to be highly regulated. And the licensing is difficult, but it's something that I think we need to get a handle on immediately because there's been inconsistencies. The advisory panel will study a lot of different things, including reviewing the tax structure for marijuana products, and they'll look at the possibility of cannabis consumption lounges and banking solutions. Banking is a big, big consideration. You know, we've got individuals paying uh, their taxes and, and whatnot in backpacks full of 10 and 20 dollar bills. Sisolak says having the same marijuana laws across the state will help create the gold standard of regulations for an industry that brings in hundreds of millions of dollars, creates jobs and generates tax revenue. It's going to help keep a healthy, ethical industry in the state that frankly is the envy of many of our neighbors. Covering the big story, Paul Nelson, 2 News. The panel will present its ideas to the legislature by March 15th, and then lawmakers will have to pass legislation to create and fund the Cannabis Compliance Board. That permanent body could be in place by late November.